and it's not just our language even though our language has been corrupted it's the programs we watch it's the food that we're pushed like when you go out you see adverts of chicken nuggets and burgers and junk food and crap and coca-cola and like refined carbs and sugar and everything that's going to kill you like i swear and i I don't want to even cast a negative spell saying this but i'm going to say that in the past so that it's in the past and it's not now and it's not going to be a new thing in the past society has been set up to make you ill to make you depressed to make you sad to make you die as quick as possible but long to live long enough where that the negative entities can um, feed off your energy and so we're basically now trapped in this place where we we're brought up to just eat the crap and to drink the crap and to smother the chemicals on our body and to what what all that does is it numbs us to our senses it turns off our spiritual third eye it calcifies our pineal gland it cuts us off from god and from source and from good and from being good and from thinking good when you feel crap you start behaving crap and so when you feel better you act better you look better you treat better people better you speak better you think better and so this is why i find that spiritual practices are so important and it's a lifestyle it's not just every every sunday i'm going to go to the church and praise the lord and then suddenly i've done my part no you have to as much as you can be the light think the light speak the light eat the light consume the light and so that that includes the things you watch the people you hang out with the put things you put in your mouth the things you put on your skin the thoughts you have the words you say the emotions you, you have the the ways you react it's a lifestyle it's everything and so feel free to start in like a small place first and just go right I can't do everything at once but what I'm going to do is just start in this place and gradually build this lifestyle of being of the light because you need to because honestly whenever I felt like I just didn't know what was going on in the world or I used to have a lot of fear fear was my biggest thing that I needed to grow through and overcome But when I was in those fearful moments, I felt so ungrounded. I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't hear my guides. I had no connection to God. I felt like just depressed and fearful, anxiety and everything. And it was only when I would meditate and center myself or go and connect in nature or ground that I started feeling better. And that's because I was filling myself with the light. So you need to fill yourself with light. You'll start to feel better. And once you have that connection to spirit again, you feel so much more grounded. You feel so much more purposeful, so much more aligned, so much more like you just know what's going on and what what to do and what, you know, what's best. And you just trust. 